Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Gal here and welcome back to the Forged Alliance Forever promotional series. Second upload of the day, don't you all feel special and as well you should because it's exactly true what your mother used to tell you, you are special, she wasn't being sarcastic at all. And to that end we have a 1v1 all BC affair here between Nuved and Skrillex. And I'm not going to mention who uploaded this and sent it in to me lest it spoiled the ending. So that is going to remain a mystery to the end, but I can tell you that it's going to take place on Desert Isles. So let's head on over to the game zone and see how these guys are going to get on. Now Desert Isles, I don't think I've ever actually cast a game on here before. Uh, it doesn't get played that much. It's not been in the ladder rotation, I don't think, while I've been playing on Faf. And uh, it's perfect ladder map as far as I'm concerned, so it may well find its way in there at some point. It's a nice small 5v5, which seems to be what the pros certainly like to play on and uh, not huge amounts of mass which in its own way I quite enjoy keeps the games kind of tight slow progression that kind of thing makes for a good makeup anyway looking at the starting locations and the teams or not the team sorry the members up here we've got BC's Nuved and he's in the red corner going cyber in opening land first two attached pgens all very standard just featured of course in the upload I've recently done in that epic if you haven't seen that I highly recommend it do allow for some time because it's a long one and his opponent down here at the bottom right is Skrillex in the beige corner also going Cybrin and he's opening first air very exciting and he's going Jester first as well I love it super aggressive and very alternative huge props to you Brohan very nice indeed but that's a huge investment 5,000 power he's got to make it pay for himself it means he's got to do a lot of NG killing to make this work but he obviously knows what he's doing because he's much higher ranking than me. Uh, Nuved is going second air. He's not going to have any interceptors up soon, but he's already building Sky Slammers. That's a catastrophe for Skrillex. Already, he must. I mean, I don't know how well these guys know each other. Obviously, they're in the same clan, but either he's got a feeling or he knows maybe Skrillex likes to do this a lot. I don't know. But he's rolling Sky Slammers off the pad, and it's always a danger, of course, when you're facing off against another Cybrin. Because, of course, these guys, the Sky Slammers, can toggle ground fire and have only five less DPS than a Mantis, which is a hugely profitable thing to get as you cover land and er early with a few early Sky Slammers. It's exactly what he's done. He's even anticipating which direction this seems to be coming in. He's going for the bottom NG or where he expects the bottom NG to be. And those Sky Slammers just sitting there off the corner could be major headaches. And he's going to make contact with that engineer, takes it out, but he's got a long way to go to make it pay for itself. He's getting back into the main base, needs to look for some engineers. There's another Sky Slammer chilling out by the manufacturing facilities. An engineer over here, he could go to pick up, grabs that one there, so he does pick up two engineers. He's going for a third one, very low on HP though, only five left, and a final round comes in from that Slammer. Follows him over, and that's not a good start for Skrillex at all. That's going to put him on the back foot. He hasn't made the best of that. And uh, it looks like he could be about to lose an engineer as well here. Coming in from the bottom, going to run into this hunter, and it's an accompanying mole. He's going to circle around a little bit of micro. It's quite low attempt to the reclaim there. Wasn't going to get it, but he's on five hit points, and the hunter has drifted out of range. Does come back for the kill. I thought he was going to be the luckiest engineer there ever. Seemed as though that hunter's got attention deficit disorder and saw a bee or something. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know where it comes from sometimes, but you know what I mean. And now we've got bombers on the field for Nuved coming in to do some damage, accompanying with a scout as well. And there's three engineers down here that are very vulnerable indeed. They could be up for the chop. Question is, Bomber is seems to be locked in, and now he's bunched them even more. That's kind of a catastrophe. Gets a good volley off here, bombs away. He's too late to micro, and he was thinking about it. And three engineers consigned to the scrap heap. And Skrillex knows he has to be aggressive here. He's moved his commander out. He's got to make something happen. He's come right up here to kind of the middle no man's land section of the map. He's going to physically take from these extended mass points out here and slow down the expansion from Nuved. But his base is just 
minimalistic to say the least. He's actually starting to try and get an upgrade going on mass extractors. He knows he's going to be slow to expand. He knows he might not be able to expand. He's lost so much map control. He's got virtually nothing on the ground. The only way he's going to stay in this is to develop economy at home where it's reasonably safe, or at least it will be more safe than it will be out in no man's land being as he's got no units to defend with, but his base can hardly be called safe at all at the moment. He's got a bomber overhead, circling, looking for more targets of opportunity, but at least there's a couple more Sky Slammers in the picture now, but that bomber does snag yet another engineer. Five engineers down to that bomber. Finally, that bomber takes enough. It's going to crash right the way out. In fact, the wreck is still there in the kind of outer reaches. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Very amusing indeed. I like but uh, going to get a look here at Skrillex. He's got his ACU over on this top hand edge. He's studying work on a land factory. And if he can hold up here, he might potentially get something done in this game. But I don't know. I really don't know. All it seems as though Noob has to do is move in with some Mantis. And this will surely be all over. There's only one Mantis on the field in the main base at the moment for Skrillex. He's starting to produce more now. The rest, Sky Slammers and Engineers. He's going to lose this upper mass point here. But things not looking good at all. Another one about to go down. He has managed to get that one upgraded, so he will have some breathing room. In terms of eco, he's very low on power, I would imagine. He's not producing any kind of air units. Definitely do with a jester or two right about now to help with this home defense he manages to shoo the rest away but look how far behind he is on development moved with six factories right there and Skrillex has only the one land factory up here and the other one down here the other one is or third one's about to come online finishes at the end but another round of bombers coming in Picks up a couple of engineers. Be amazed if Skrillex manages to last another five minutes. There's so much on the field. But it looks like there's some kind of intel online for Noob. Ah, oh, he's got scout planes. He's seen this upper base. And I actually think this is a mistake. He's got the units on the field to go in and finish off this base. That's all he needs to do. I guess he feels like he's got bombers in play. That's, that doesn't matter. He could just use those to harass that base and he needs to keep these at home but realistically the only thing of any real threat in this upper base at the moment is Skrillex's ACU it's unlikely he's going to go charging straight into Noob's base maybe he's just looking to isolate the comm now and go for the win we'll have to see but I just feel if he'd have moved all this down that would have been gone then once he's lost that He's never going to do as well just holding on to this base. He's only got access to about two mass points on the basic ground here as opposed to the five that he's got access to back at home. And now for the moment, he's ho holding on to both anyway. Definitely not the right idea. And Newt's actually taking quite a bit of fire on his ACU now down to below 6,000 HP. Brings his Mantis back in to start dishing out some hurt back onto Skrillex takes him down to just below 7,000 then there is the lull again and actually getting to the point where there are a few units in place now for Skrillex he's going to get another factory online the longer this goes on the longer it gives Skrillex a chance to get more factories in play and turn this once desolate little base into something of a threat and there's very little in terms of reinforcements coming down from Noob to assist this bottom area. Everything seems to be focusing on this upper base. He doesn't like the proximity to his own. That's fair enough, I guess. But uh, I think this is critical. Take a look at the main base. There isn't any, there aren't any T2 mass points in there yet for Noob. So if we take a quick look at the income, Noob sitting on around 22 mass and 20 for Skrillex and that's outrageous when you look at the amount of map control that Noob has got compared to his opponent. Skrillex really saving his own bacon by keeping or getting that uh, T2 mass point in place. He's already got a second one in place. He's upgrading a third. So in terms of eco, because this hasn't been pressed, 
This could be very interesting indeed. It could be quite an irony that Skrillex actually gets the upper hand in terms of economy. It's not helped, of course, by the fact that this is such a small map with so few mass points on it. So map control will yield you even less in terms of a bonus on your opponent. Radar going up at the front there for Skrillex will give him some nice intel. He's getting a decent amount of Mantis in play now from these base factories. Another factory about to go online. Interesting not using the little extra build power from the Mantis, which he could do. Every little helps goes the tagline of a certain supermarket, which we don't need to advertise, but you know what I mean. It's just for us Brits, that one. No one else will get that. But now we've got an upgrade on Nuved. He's upgrading his commander. It'll be interesting to see if that's the gun upgrade or the T2 engineering suite. I should know this off by hand by now, but I never do. 200 power, so 180. So he's going for T2 on his comm. And we've got a little bit of a run-by happening up here. Some Mantis and Sky Slammers and a Mole have made their way right into the back of Noob's base. Going to finish off this Mantis first. Another Mass Extractor there on 56 out of 600 HP. That's just begging for a couple of shots to go down. And still, despite having superior numbers, he's not able to effectively get into this base and finish it off. In fact, he looks like he's making a press on the commander, perhaps. Commander's up to 18 kills, so he's not far off some more veterancy. Or some HP in terms of veterancy, I should say. He is doing a nice job of picking up these mass points, which of course are on unscalable cliffs. You can't get engineers up there by walking it, and it survived. I can't believe it. One T1 mass point on 56 hit points, and this one's begging to go down here as Noob spots the engineer and its company mass point you donate just one mantis to kill that engineer I think lest it get away but Skrillex has been moved off his base that has been overrun he is heading back to his own base and it is going to now totally rely on these upgraded mass points at home he's about to get a fourth T2 one in place that will be very interesting to see so he's literally got his four base ones and the one extended one out here, which is a T1. So we'll see how that matches up in terms of eco. So 32 mass for Nuved, who's basically got the whole map almost. But 28 for Skrillex, so not far behind because he's been keeping on top of the upgrades. And to be fair, Nuved hasn't been pressing him. So he hasn't needed to produce more units. He can afford or has been able to afford that extra mass in order to get those upgrades has put him in a reasonable position. He doesn't need to work on map control now to stay in this. Just needs to stay on upgrades. He's working on a fifth one now. And that will probably put him ahead. Which is nice to see. Strong, confident play here from Skrillex. It's Mantis square off against each other. White and red blood cells going to war. Meant to be on the same team, but not today. Again, Skrillex is forced to retreat in the face of pretty overwhelming numbers now. Large group of units building up in the middle of the map for Nuved. He's unyet, has un yet been unable to capitalize on that advantage. He's still sitting on the six land factories, so he's not increasing the amount of units in any incremental sets and we've got T2 land in place for Skrillex that could be interesting we can afford to start producing some hoplites could turn this around Skrillex getting his ACU involved very concerned about these numbers of units hanging out in the middle of the map and finally we're seeing some upgrades go on for Noob which is the right thing to do he's got all of the map control he needs. He needs to start developing his economy. He's also getting an energy storage which is going to allow him to overcharge, of course, on his commander. And he's got a route. He's just he tie up the stuff down here and send all of this in and start harassing the top of Skrillex's base. 
maybe charge in with the ACU as well. I don't think he's got the killing power. He gets his ACU in there. He can nullify these hoplites with overcharge and be sitting pretty with the damage that he causes. Random transport flying around. Looks like he's forgotten his load back at base. Someone's about to get fired. And a Cerberus turret going up. So we've got a T2 engineer on the field. So Skrillex looking to lock off more of the battlefield with that. Of course, has such problem tr tracking those units as they move laterally. Still don't understand whether that's a bug or something. I always assumed that Cerberus turrets would be good at tracking, but they're not. They're pretty damn awful. They seem like they should be good. They seem like they're supposed to be precision beams, but being manned by some kind of illiterate monkey. And once again, not critical damage caused by Noob. He got in here, he did some basic damage, took out an engineer who was working on some of these mass storage. And we've got a little bit of a point defense war kicking off now. Noob could do with taking out that engineer. Surely he's got overcharge. It survives, and that's the puppy that's initiating these Cerberus turrets. But he needs to be careful. That's a lot of hoplites. Where did they come from? He's just spamming. He's got a lot of build capacity on that T2 factory. He's spamming those T2 units. And Noob needs to be careful. He's taking Cerberus fire. He's taking hoplite fire. He needs to back up and rejoin his army. But he's left a huge gap. He's cycling north with all his units. And Skrillex sees this and is now advancing with his Mantis on this bottom portion of the map. Picks up that transport. He was napping in a lay-by with his truck. Didn't go well for him at all. And now Noob redirects his forces south to try and deal with that spam. Still, same numbers of factories for both guys sitting on six. A look at how we're doing eco-wise. 37 mass for Skrillex. 42 mass for Noob. So Noob still ahead in the mass game. Doesn't feel like he's producing any kind of more dangerous unit. He's got wasted units up here that are just kind of guarding. Get a run, another run by on down the back here. Another T1 radar going up. Extending Skrillex's intel coverage. run by happening over on this corner island as well. He's not going to be able to get anything done with that, I don't think. Could have uh, got past there and carried on going. Potentially could have got up here and caused some damage, although there's a whole group of Mantis kind of sitting there guarding the front entrance. These are actually, they must be scalable, are they? No, I don't think they are. So it seems like the only entrance on this map is actually up these ramps with these very cur curiously drawn decals, shall we say. It's like some kid with a black marker who's gone, eh, meh, meh, meh. But um, we've got Vipers in play now as well, which will give Skrillex some nice standoff tactics. However, he's not going to get anything done against these elevated positions because of that nice little bit of coverage or protection they get from the relief of the land. It's kind of recessed in the middle. So he's going to move those Vipers around. I think that is wise. Cerberus turret online. And that's going to afford him some very nice protection indeed. So we've got a little bit of a kind of point defense creep that's working its way out into the middle of the map and also defending the entrance to the base, which is what he's concerned about at the moment. So we pass the 20 minute mark in this game. Skrillex getting another T1 radar in place, so he's not concerned about any kind of tech radar. It's covering everything. He's just going to build them everywhere. Low, low fi but a hundred of them. It's fine. We got this. He's building mass storage everywhere, hoping to increase what mass he's getting from those T2 extractors. Exactly the right thing. Noob not quite so concerned at this point with doing anything like that. Slight lull in activity at the moment. He's filling up transports, looking to go for some kind of drop. He's loading Medusas onto them. Of course, Medusas highest damage out of them. And of course, got that EMP built into the shell casing. He's got a couple of extra transports that aren't taking anything. He's also lifting off 
with his interceptors, but I think that has been spotted. He's sending more scout planes over to see what's coming in his way. If he can get them on the ground, that might be quite interesting, but he's taking an awful lot of fire, and all of the Medusas, that's outrageous, all of the Medusas got popped in the transports before even the transports came down, and all that's done has filled Skrillex up with more potential reclaimable mass on his doorstep. Now we've got Cerberus turrets going down despite a Zapper being nearby. Viper's having some pretty good success, decent success on that. Only one Zapper there of course. Not enough to deal with those missiles. Three of them coming in at once and that Zapper doesn't last long either. Moved, chilling back here underneath the cover of a couple of TNDs. Concerned about the snipe, evidently. And we've actually got T3 tech. Very interesting. So, Skrillex making his way to T3. We've got T2 on the field for Nuved. He's got a couple of hoplites in play. He's working on some vipers of his own to counter bombardment that he's been getting just don't know exactly how Skrillex has managed to get in or back into this match he was out as far as I can tell he was beaten when that Jester play at the beginning didn't work and now he seems relatively even terms although that was a pretty harsh loss in the middle straying into some Cerberus fire which was very ill-advised indeed needs to find a different avenue of approach. He feels the same, so I think he's going to back off with some units, but we've got a little gathering of units now over on the right. And indeed, they bunch up on the rocks. You have to come in this main entrance, which is very nicely defended with Cerberus turrets. Another one going up here. If I was him, I'd definitely be placing another one on this right side. Now... Another engagement brewing over here on the left. And it really is a case of hoplite and viper play at the moment. Cerberus turrets keeping the mantis at bay from engaging. As soon as I say that though, kicks off slightly. And Nuke has got his ACU in the mix coming in to overcharge as and where he can. Skrillex back here, building yet more Cerberus turrets. Now working on some T2P gens at the back, and a brick is out on the field. Another one in production. Walking to the front lines as we speak. And that really could change this around. Hordes of scout planes out for Skrillex, getting some more intel. So those radars aren't working for him. They do literally just have to sneeze and they will fall over. Viper's moving forward over onto the right-hand side now. And one brick has headed north and cleared a path. <laughs> I just don't see there's much on the field to stop it except for another brick. So the advantage of ti tech timing has gone. Skrillex no longer has the upper hand in terms of tech. He is been equalized pretty big battle brewing over here on the left hand side of the map numbers kind of favor Skrillex but they're under Cerberus cover so that doesn't necessarily mean anything a couple of bricks in the mix as well though We've got some brick on brick fire happening up here it seems as though Noobs is going to get the better of that since the hit points are fewer on Skrillex's brick but there's reinforcements coming in to back that brick up. Noob moves north with his to make sure he confirms the kill because that is where the most threat is coming from. Going to work on a few of these Mantis come up to reinforce and that group of units that assaulted down here from Skrillex just a minute ago has been thinned out well and truly thanks to the Cerberus turrets. Now Noob seems to be just kind of 
trying to charge down that brick. Thinks better of it. If he'd have been able to get a little bit closer, he may have been able to overcharge it. Another big m movement of troops on the right-hand side from Skrillex. Mostly Mantis. Vipers retreating. Don't want to get caught out. Of course, no use there whatsoever in terms of close combat. Just a little bit unable to chase down this brick. Needs to get a little bit closer. I think he's done it now. Oh, my goodness. Thought he'd done it, but doesn't manage it. And we've got a brick on a transport. So Skrillex is going for some kind of drop. Gets right to the edge of the map. He's going to cling to that, I imagine. And now Noob is kind of trying to counter-attack, but he's not got a lot of units there either. He's... Needs to get his Vipers to take out these Cerberus turrets. Zappers aren't that far forward, so he should be able to do it. But we've got this drop coming in now from Skrillex in around the back. This is what I mean by these small kind of low mass maps. Single units are a lot more dangerous than they would be on larger ones. We've actually got a trebuchet here as well. So Nuke was really going for some kind of long range bombardment. And a brick could potentially wreak havoc here in the middle of Skrillex's base. It's a focus on build capacity, but the timing is very fortunate for Noob. The brick comes off the pad just in time. It's sitting on 7,000 or so. I think it looks as though... Oh, it's going to be close. A little bit of micro here and there to force a few block shots. Could be crucial in this battle of who's going to survive. And I know it's only one brick, but... Like I say, it's all important on this kind of map. When one gets into your base like this, it can cause untold devastation. It's trying to micro around different buildings to block some shots, but it's not going to manage it. goes down and Noob secures his base. He's slightly thinned out again in the middle, although he does have a, a brick in that mix, which is more than could be said, I suppose. For Skrillex, he's got one back here. Potentially lose all of that Mantis. Mantis actually being... Very unuseful at the moment. You can see these trebuchets going to work long range and taking out almost all of the static D covering this entrance. He's got a couple more down here, Skrillex 3 in fact. But I don't think he's going to be able to keep them alive. Those Mantis moving in, going to be able to take that out. Only 935 hit points on the trebuchet, remember, so it doesn't take a whole lot of Mantis to overwhelm them. Bit of a suicide mission needed to take that out and has managed to do so. Bricks now exchanging fire with one another, but another couple coming in for Nuved, who's busy at the front building more point defense, trying to secure his side of the map. He to be very wary of any more drops. That's for certain. That could have nearly gone pear-shaped, but a lot of jesters on the ground here, and they're going to catch sight of Noob. This could be a snipe waiting to happen. I imagine the only reason he's built that many is for exactly that reason. Noob coming into contact with these bricks is going to be overcharging them. 30 minutes gone and the Jesters are on the move. And there's nothing in the air or in the area that Noob can do about it. I'd say that's probably game. Tell me you've got something, Noob. That's an unbelievable turnaround for Skrillex. He was down and out at the beginning of this game as far as I was concerned. Hit points falling off him. Like he's just joined Weight Watchers. Down to 2,000, down to 1,000, and Kaflui. Very confident play indeed. You very rarely see a comeback quite like that. It's very impressive. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Oh, yeah, incidentally, this makes sense now. I forgot to mention that it was actually uh, Skrillex who uploaded this game. He gave me a note to say that it was accidentally put on Sandbox. But then he asked, he must have been on voice comms or something with Noob because he then asked him to control K it because he wanted to upload it. So we wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> oh, maybe they were still working out. Oh no, we must have put it on Sandbox. What do we do? We speed it up and go, come on. Come on. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> and then one leaves. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, there will be more from me very soon, as always. Uh, might be one or two more days this week where I do double dollops like I did today. I just need to get through some of these replays. And I've got quite a few of them. In the meantime, guys, as always, stay well and stay safe. This is Guile signing out.